morning everybody. Uh, actually I don't have much to talk today uh, but there was one thing that popped up over the weekend that actually I think deserves a little bit discussion. That's of course the new Barcelona logo. Not quite yet confirmed but yeah I think it's a bold move. Um, if you haven't seen it, it probably saw it in the video description, video thumbnail. I put the new Barcelona, I will put the new Barcelona logo. Uh, it's basically the old logo um, where they removed the yellow bar with FCB, um, removed all the inner black lines, uh, especially around the St. George's Cross and the Catalan flag, and widened the part where you have the Palograna stripes and of course the soccer ball in the center. So therefore the soccer ball moves considerably up, becomes almost the focus of the new crest. And of course removing the lettering um, is a bold move because uh, you trust that your brand is so well known that you don't need to have this reminder of uh, the letters which is a big move honestly uh, very bold now do I like it better or worse hard to say I find the execution uh, at some points a little bit lacking uh, what I do like most about it is and I thought at first this looks odd but uh, the original the original the now older current logo has seven stripes in Blaugrana which makes the red stripe the center stripe now the new one has five stripes that makes the blue one the center stripe um, and at first I thought nah, this is not right but it is right because that's how I want the Barcelona jersey to look like the blue uh, on the center then just two by white red stripes and then uh, another blue so um, that one I can get, get on board with. What I cannot get on board with is that uh, if you look closer at the crest, uh, the upper left corner, this in Georgia, uh, everything follows kind of the outline except the left side of the St. George's Cross, which is straight. Looks odd. I think it should also be curved. Um, of course, on the Catalan flag, you cannot see it because the, it, there is a yellow base. So. Uh, nothing there uh, looks all right and the other thing is where this where the band was there was this weird shape like this and now this is also replaced by the Blaugrana stripes and it looks a little bit odd it feels empty there honestly uh, I don't know what could have been done better I honestly will probably have altered the shape there I have to be that honest. I know it was important that the shape stays intact, but now you have a really odd looking logo. That's the odd part about it, because uh, when there was the banner, the yellow band, uh, it made still somewhat sense, but now it looks a little bit lost. Maybe you could have kept the band, maybe you could have moved the two flags a little bit further down, uh, make them a little bit more prominent, uh, but I understand that you wanted to put the soccer ball in. I think, um, personally to me, I'm not a designer. I actually, my sister is a graphic designer. I should probably ask her what she thinks about it. But I find this really, really an odd inclusion because now you have the striping cut by this shape. It doesn't look good, honestly. Uh, but overall, I think I like the logo. I still, I didn't like the current logo that much because I thought that the FCB lettering is too tiny and doesn't fill up the band. It got lost anyway already. There was the previous version. Um, if you see the video of my, uh, I think it was the 2001, 2002 shirt of Barcelona that I have. Um, that crest I liked better because the lettering was bolder and a little bit more elongated so it kind of filled out the bar. Uh, I also found the shape a little bit more pleasing back then but I think it was due to copyright reasons and trademarking and all that kind of 
nonsense that they couldn't do it. Uh, so in that sense, the current logo with the FCB so small on there um, was already looking considerably odd. Now, um, why is it a bold move? Well, you're a global brand. Uh, it's recognizable as Barcelona logo, but you say, I don't need the lettering anymore. And uh, FCB, uh, I talked to my brother this weekend, he thinks that the reasoning that they might be mistaken for FC Bayern is a little bit old. Um, I honestly would understand this because I remember in the early days of the internet, hey, now I'm dating myself considerably, in the early days of the internet, um, when you looked up FCB, you actually got Bayern and not Barcelona. And that one was truly an odd thing to see. So yeah. Uh, for that reason, I can see the reasoning behind it. Also, you don't necessarily need it anyway. I mean, uh, if you don't know what FCB is, who else? Uh, I thought maybe if you put a Barca in there or something like that, uh, instead of FCB, this one could have worked even better. So, but you know, I don't know. Speaking of logos, so I, I say a lot about the Barcelona logo and that's the main focus, but speaking of logos, uh, one that has been bothering me for quite a while is the new Serie A logo. It's awful. Uh, the old one I actually like, you had the soccer pitch, you had the red, you had the blue over. Now uh, the focus is more on the A, Serie A, um, which for some reason I, I understand and if it was done okay, it would be nice, but the red shape that it looks like a beard to me uh, like it's stereotypically if I want to see uh, a stereotypically Italian in, 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 in a way they get this beard that's I think the thing that bothers me most then also the coloring I mean there's still the soccer pitch there around the A somewhere but the coloring is so nondescript and I'm missing the Italian colors it could be a lot more Italian looking uh, if you have the red in there, uh, then do maybe a green on top or something. Get an Italian flag in there, but that, the way it looks is just uh, boring. It's boring, it looks bad, honestly. Uh, you want to build brands, uh, and I think the Serie A logo was actually one of the better league logos. I mean, the La Liga logo with the rainbow around the soccer ball is use forever is an okay logo. Um, the Bundesliga with the soccer player over the red, uh, yeah, if it has to be, was never a big fan of it because it's the square shape, but uh, then uh, German soccer logos are full with simple shapes. Uh, I thought the Italian league looked overall uh, quite okay, I didn't see necessarily the need for a change. I was curious and I haven't looked this up whether there's not a dedicated Serie B logo with, with the corresponding B. That I guess I have to look up as well, but that's not hard to find. So yeah, people are building brands. I think that Juventus is probably the, the one that really started that movement quite strongly. I know that Arsenal went for their beautiful cannon to a much simpler crest, which still cannot get much behind it, but you know, I got used to it also copyright reasons, so they were the, the ones that very, very really became first apparent to me. Uh, there's a change, I think City went for a much simpler logo, which yeah, I'm also not that happy and you know, every, every, everyone tries to get some, something simple, but I think one of the worst examples is for me the Fulham logo, uh, the new Fulham, now also with the 3 FFC, looks boring, West Ham, boring. Uh, got rid of the castle. Yes, it's simpler, but uh, the castle was iconic. So, uh, how the fans let that slit. Uh, there are also uh, some improvements. I mean, I think Tottenham uh, looks sleeker the way it is now. Uh, it has a more old school feel than the logo that I have on my Tottenham shirt. So, for that reason, yep, that's what I think went fine. But the Juventus was the starkest one, where you really went straight for an uh, abstract logo. The old Juve logo 
was not the greatest, I, I admit that. I mean, it had the, sh the uh, shield of Turin, then, you know, black and white stripes, and then I always thought that uh, they had this weird Juventus lettering that got thinner to the middle. But, you know, it had the oval shape that I associate with Italian soccer a lot. And I actually liked it overall, but it was not the greatest one. I thought, for instance, Milan, even Bologna, I have much better... Uh, Milan, Bologna, so similar. Uh, much better versions of the oval shape. So, yeah. So now they have the shield with this double J in a way that kind of... I'm still a little bit sour. I mean, again, you get used to these things, so it's not the worst thing, but I understand what's behind it. It looks a little... I, I know when they introduced the logo that it looks like a fashion label, and uh, they are right on that part. I still don't like it. Well, le let me know if there are any logos that you've seen. I think Milan was toying with a new logo that looked horrible. And I was so happy that they got rid of it. Also something where they removed the black lines and then it's just the red and the black and some weird uh, organic shapes. If that was ever uh, the case, I'm very happy that they went with, uh, stayed with the current one. And yeah, sometimes you're gonna stick with the old, but uh, I know in Italy at least, uh, club crests are not that prevalent. I mean, not, not on the shirt. This came in the mid 90s that they started wearing the crest on the shirt most of them can let me know what logos you find changed for the worse changed for the better uh, what do you think about the new Barcelona logo and if there are any other things that bug you or that you like that changes have been done um, I gave you my take um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel it's kind of dark here I want to end this in a bright note <laughs> Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Uh, tomorrow I'll probably give you a little bit of a Champions League roundup. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna watch, uh, but I'm sure I've seen highlights of it in time. Up until then, talk to you soon. Bye.